Hey YouTube, this is Everything Apple Pro, and I'm making a video to help you guys that are having problems on the line range jailbreak and just some of you that have questions. And I have a bunch of comments on my channel page. I can't answer all of them. A bunch of them are the same thing, but I'm making a video to help you guys out. And watch the whole video. I have a bunch of tips that will help you get this line range working, the jailbreak. And here we go. First question, the number one question that people are having is, is there an unlock? No, there is not an unlock as of now. There may be in the future, but as of now, October 11th, I believe, there is not a jail uh, unlock available for 4.1 firmware. And what this jailbreak does is it activates so you don't get the slide to emergency lock screen, and it's untethered, so you don't need a computer to boot it up if you turn it off. And if you want to undo this jailbreak, just go into iTunes and click restore, and then you'll have a stock iPhone or iPod Touch. And Green Poison was supposed to come out yesterday, the 10th of October, but Geohot beat Green Poison to it and released Lime Rain. Now a lot of people are asking, what's the difference? Should I wait for Green Poison? And ba basically there were two exploits. Lime Rain used one, Green Poison, Green Poison used another. And they decided to save one of those exploits for a future update and implement Lime Rain's exploit into theirs. So it will be delayed, but it's basically the same jailbreak same problem, same everything. So there's really no difference if you use Lime Rain right now or Green Poison later. A lot of people are having trouble with DFU. Uh, DFU is a mode you put your iPhone in when you want to restore it or a lot of jailbreaks need to access your iPhone like that. And a lot of people just don't know how to do it. They're new or you can be an experienced uh, hacker, jailbreaker, but you just don't know how to do it. And I'll make a video and I'll post a link here in a little bit. Otherwise, a lot of people just have iPhones that their buttons are broken. Uh, can't get them, but their iPhones are broken, their buttons are broken, their home button, power button, and they're just wondering how, how to run this jailbreak, how to put it into DFE mode with broken buttons. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's really no way you can do it as of now unless someone releases a software that allows you to put your, DFU, your iPhone into DFE mode through the software. Um, all right, and basically people are saying Lime Rain works, everything says exploit uploaded, they go onto their iPhone, nothing, there's nothing there, no Lime Rain. If you have an iPod Touch that is not 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabyte, it is not compatible as of now. In the future, it will be compatible because the iPhone 3G, a gigabyte is the same thing as an iPod Touch 2G, and those are not supported at this time. In the future, they will be. So stay tuned, but, and if you have an iPhone 3G, that will not work, so don't try it. If you have any of the uncompatible phones or iPods, they will be broken into an endless boot loop, but it is fixable. Just go into iTunes, put it into DFE mode. Again, we, I will make a DFE mode video and click restore. Now, if you have any problems otherwise in that, restart your iPhone. If Lime Rain doesn't appear, restart it again. If it doesn't appear, you have to re-jailbreak it. Keep re-jailbreaking. I know some people may say it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Just re-jailbreak it. It is a very problematic uh, jailbreak and you just have to try, try again because it will work in the end. It worked for me the first time on iPhone 4, but just try again if it doesn't work. Otherwise, update it to 4.1 if it still doesn't work or restore it, but I'm pretty sure it will work. Now, I'm going to switch to your to my computer and show you guys a couple tips on how to make the jailbreak work better and just work on your computer. All right, guys. Peace out. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. Uh, people are complaining, saying that Cydia won't reload. It just uh, sell your data. Network is not working or something like that. It's because you're not connected to a uh, internet source. So make sure you have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, I'd recommend Wi-Fi for this. Uh, to use with Cydia, so that might be your problem. That is your problem. But all right, onto my computer. Okay, so on your computer, make sure your iTunes 10 is updated to the newest iTunes. I'll have a link in my description. Just go to iTunes.com and download that. And Lime Rain, make sure you have the newest version of that too, because it's being updated often. And before you actually start the jailbreak, you should right-click it and press Run as Administrator. That could iron out a lot of problems you guys are having with it and that's just about it that's all you can do on your computer if you're still having problems with it make sure it is a correct device if it's a iPod touch 
8 gigabyte not gonna work 16 gigabyte not gonna work because they're both 2G's now this compatibility will include those in the future but as of now they're not compatible also iPhone 3G not gonna work so don't leave me comments that are saying that it's not gonna work and although I don't have enough time to answer everyone's comments that's why I'm making this video to answer some of your questions but yeah guys thanks a lot and please help out other people if you see some person that's still not getting it just comment on his comment and try and help him out but thanks a lot you guys this is everything Apple Pro and make sure to subscribe for when the unlock is gonna come out and just other great videos about your iDevice and just rate this video and comment so thanks a lot you guys have fun